Bum's been sick for three days now, and he's only getting worse. San Wu hovers in the bathroom door watching him vomit into his toilet. He's surprised that Bum can vomit anymore considering it's been non-stop for the past hour. Whatever little there was in his stomach was gone in the first five minutes, but he just keeps going. San Wu's been watching him the entire time, he would know. Bum's hands white knuckle the rim, but they're still shaking, trembling. His fever spikes and drops randomly, so all Bum can do is wait to get better. Sanwu watches the sweat roll down his neck. He's honestly surprised he's not sick himself, but maybe it's similar to how his mother never got sick when he was sick. He's not taking Bum to the hospital. Sanwu didn't take him to the hospital when he cracked his legs with a sledgehammer. This was nothing in comparison. That's a non-starter, no matter how much Bum thrashes in the middle of the night and begs. He talks in his sleep now. Yet another thing to keep Sanwu awake. Sanwu hasn't slept a full night since this started. He doesn't mind, really. He has things to do, and more time to do it now. Bum's not been sleeping well either. When he talks in his sleep, the things he says are just fantastic, ranging from begging to incoherent mumbling to screaming. A wide variety of options, really. Always entertaining. Sanwu watches as Bum dips his head down again and the sound of water hitting porcelain fills the room. Bum pulls away, wiping his mouth with the back of his hand and laying back on the tile. Need help? Sanwu asks. Bum shakes his head, but just barely. Sanwu rolls his eyes. It's alright to ask for help sometimes. Sanwu says and moves across the tile to pull Bum up and in front of the sink. Bum just blinks at the mirror. Christ. Sanwu turns the sink on and splashes water in Bum's face. Come on. Sorry. Bum mumbles. Finally awake enough to cup water in his hands and wet his face with it. He cups more water in his hands and washes his mouth out with it. There you go. Better already, right? Sanwu asks brushing Bum's hair out of his face. Bum tries to turn his head to look at Sanwu's face until Sanwu turns it back so Bum can look at himself in the reflection of the mirror. Thank you, he says. Sanwu looks into the reflection to catch Bum's eyes. Want a bath? Sanwu asks. Bum flusters before nodding. Right, because how can they do anything without that? He sits him down on the floor before moving to turn on the tap. It fills slowly, steam rising off of it. When he dips his finger in to check the temperature, he has to yank it away quickly, scalding. When he turns around, Bum's pulled his skirt off and folded it neatly. The sweater Sangwoo gave him was on the floor in the bedroom. Bum had ripped it off the second he felt nauseous. How considerate of him. He wiggles a bit before pulling his briefs off. Sangwoo picks him up and settles him into the tub. He expected flailing or screaming or hissing, but Bum looks content. His feet stick out over the rim, in between Sangwoo's legs to keep his bandages clean. He's really not using the tub the way it was intended, sitting vertically instead of laying horizontally, but he seems happy. Not hot? Sangwoo asks. Mm -mm. He shakes his head. Really? Sanwu doesn't believe him, but in his defense, he has finally stopped shaking. Bum washes himself slowly, carefully over some of the bruises, but thoroughly. Sanwu stares at him. Are you, are you missing work because of me? He's not. Bum is asleep almost every single time he leaves the house, but there's no reason to tell him that. If, after everything you and I have been through, a cold kills you, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Bum stills. He seems to mull over his next words. You, you'd miss me? Sanwu tilts his head. He sounds so rapturous when he says it. Sanwu feels sorry for him. Creep. Well, it'd be a wasted investment, he says, kneeling down between Bum's legs and splashing him with the water. It's not burning anymore, but Bum is pretty red anyway. Why'd you like me so much? He asks, not sure where the question comes from. You, you saved me, he says and flashes a smile. From what? Right. Sanwu gets up. I'll make you a yujicha. Bum nods and Sanwu leaves to make it. He's overcome with a memory as he walks the short distance to the kitchen. He was waiting for it to hit him, but he's still not happy about it. His mother holding him on her hip while she made him tea when he was sick. His father sitting behind him and talking on the phone. Sanwu would bury his face into her chest and think that if he made himself small, his father wouldn't see him. The cup he's holding cracks. He didn't even realize he was holding it. The glass didn't splinter out, but he throws it away anyway. He starts another cup, and when it's full, he walks back into the bathroom. The floor is soaked, and Bum is cold over the toilet again. Bum looks up at him for a second before lurching forward. Sanwu sighs. <sighs> he sits down behind him and presses his face into Bum's back. Even though he can feel his spine, Sanwu can't help but bring himself to care. He sets the cup a few towels away from them so it doesn't spill, and wraps his arms around Bum's body. Uh, I want to die. Uh, what else is new? Sanwu asks, closing his eyes. Bum's skin is wet. He's probably only going to get colder. His mother would pet his hair and sing to him. Sanwu's hands itch. You really never got sick as a kid? I can't remember if I, if I did. 
What about your uncle? Did he get sick? Bum stiffens under him. He, he, he drank a lot. Sanu snorts and Bum shivers. <laughs> Everyone drinks a lot. Bum's hands curl around his own stomach. You hungry? Does it hurt? <laughs> Sanu puts his hand on Bum's stomach and presses down. Bum tries to get away from his hand, but he only has so far to go, pressing into Sanwu. He whimpers and Sanwu opens his eyes and lets go of Yunbun's belly. Drink, he says and reaches for the cup. He holds it to Bum's lips and some of it spills past his mouth and down his front. Thank you. Bum mumbles and Sanwu snorts again. <laughs> Idiot. What's he trying to get now? He nuzzles his face into Bum's back. You tired? Yeah. He drags his fingers through Bum's hair. It's an aimless gesture. Bum stops vomiting after two hours, at which point Sanwu is sure he doesn't have any bile left in his belly. He puts him back in the bath and he cleans himself this time. Bum preens under the attention. When Sanwu is done, he carries Bum to bed. He's asleep and shaking in twenty minutes. Sanwu sits by his head and pets his hair. Bum starts talking an hour later. Sanwu's no stranger to idling, so he sits and waits for it. Bum's having a nightmare. That much is obvious. He's thrashing around, hard enough that he might actually hurt himself. Sanwu watches him. He's filled with so much energy now. Where was all of it during the day? <laughs> so, 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 please. Did he ever beg Sanwu to stop? He can't remember if that happened or not. He scratches his head gently. Me? He asks Bum. What do you want me to stop? Hmm? No, please. Sanwu watches him. That's all he does anymore. He needs to go out. Just because Bum is sick doesn't mean he's sick too. <laughs> stop! Stop! Bum lurches on his back and freezes up all of a sudden. He's... he's crying. What is it? What did I do to you, Bum? Please. Please, Uncle, don't. Please. I, I can't make it. Please. Sanwu's mind works quickly, connects the dots faster than he wants to. He looks at the thin scar lines on his wrist. Liar. Yun Bum is a liar. Sanwu shakes him awake roughly and Bum's eyes fly open. He's laying on his back, staring straight at him. What did your uncle do to you? He asks. What? What did he do to you? Uh, Bum turns away from him, blinking. He, he... Bum, in place of an answer, reaches to cover himself with his hands. That's clear enough confirmation, isn't it? Not a lot of people would admit to being raped. Especially not by family. The anger that appeared disappears quickly enough. Bum's crying now. So Sanru gets up to get him clean clothes to wear. He pulls on a pair of clean briefs on Bum's legs and his own sweater over Bum's head. Go to sleep, Sanu says. <sighs> Bum watches him with big eyes. What? Go to sleep already. Bum looks tiny in his sweater. Stay? He whispers. Don't talk in your sleep, Sanu says and pulls him onto himself. Bum blinks, trying to rub tears away, but they just keep coming. Sanu gets tired of looking at him in his sad face, so he pushes Bum's head into his chest. Go to sleep. Bum sleeps, if it could be called that. When Sanu looks at the clock, it shows 11pm. He slides Bum down carefully, places his head on a pillow and covers him with a blanket. Then he slips out of the house. He wants a drink. He finds one in an underground club, one that doesn't card and doesn't have cameras on the door. He doesn't come often. He doesn't go anywhere often. But he keeps his hoodie on and his head down. He goes straight to the bar, orders a chocolate martini and waits. Don't see a lot of young men ordering that, the bartender says. Sanu smiles. If I'm going to drink, I might as well enjoy myself, right? He uses an accent. Sure, whatever. The guy slides him a glass and Sanwu shoots it back in one go. The only good thing his father gave him was alcohol tolerance. Jesus. Cheers. He says in place of anything else. He pulls out his wallet and slides the guy the one. You want a tab? I don't think I'll be here that long, actually. Cocky bastard. Intuition. He winks. Oh, how you figure? You seem to like me well enough? The guy flushes in dim light. Creep. The drunk underage girls are easier. The guy looks away from him to do something else. Cut limes by the look of it. Sanwu was right, of course. A few minutes later, a girl sits at the bar next to him and makes eyes at him. She's young. Younger than Bum, but thin enough. And their haircuts are similar. You, you here alone? <laughs> are you? She asks with a giggle, waving the bartender over. She orders a mimosa. He orders a sex on the beach and both the girl and the bartender blush. He takes his drink and pays for it. Maybe. He gives her a quick grin. I am. She says. She's already drunk, obviously. She slurs her words just a bit. Uh, my friends were supposed to meet me, but I'm here with you. She smiles and leans forward. Her tits are small and she's really not doing herself any favours. Guess I'm lucky then. He sips his sex on the beach slowly. He likes the taste. 
He likes sweet things in general. Mm-hmm, I'm all yours. She winks and giggles before seemingly realising what she's just said and shaking her head quickly. Oh, I mean... I'm yours then, he rushes. If you'll have me, I mean, Kim Jiho, he says. Lee min she says. They make casual conversation until she has another mimosa, and he offers, red-faced, to head back to his apartment. She smiles and nods and says that she doesn't usually do this sort of thing, but she feels a connection and Sanwu nods earnestly along with her. Just this once, he says, and she laughs. He even offers to buy her breakfast in the morning and she smiles and nods. When they get to his house, she clings to his side. I thought you said it was an apartment. <coughs> ah, I had a few too many. He waves his hand. Are you scared? It's a quiet neighbourhood. She says. She's shaking, but it's subtle, like Bum's tremors. He guides her upstairs into his bed. Bum's asleep downstairs still, curled in on himself. It's been a few weeks since he's been in his own bed, he realises. The girl even mentions how neat everything is. He fucks her quickly. She moans even though he knows she doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't like her face, so he turns her over, on all fours and pounds into her. He can see her spine. He reaches forward and grabs a handful of hair, yanking it back until she's flush against him, whining that it hurts, that he's being too rough, that he should slow down. It's not for her, though. He licks her neck and bites down and she whimpers like bum whimpers. He pulls on her flat nipples and her ears turn red, just like bums do. He can't concentrate very well. Because all of a sudden it's not some bint he found in a bar, it's Bum whining under him. The illusion isn't solid though, because when she opens her mouth she begs for Sanwu to be softer and that's just unrealistic. Bum would take it and thank him for it. He rolls his hips in a different way and Bum leans in to kiss him. Sanwu licks and sucks at his lips, binding down hard enough to make them bleed. You need some colour on your face anyway, Sanwu says and Bum nods. Bum rocks his hips along to Sanwu's rhythm and whimpers happily when Sanwu tweaks one of his nipples. He bites at his neck and his ears until Bum clenches down on him and he spills into that tight warm heat. He drags his fingers up and down Bum's spine until he starts purring under him. Can you pull out? Ugh, right. Sanru shakes his head. Again, let's go again. Bum nods and turns around again, spreading himself for Sanru. He reaches forward as he starts fucking him again and wraps his hands around Bum's neck. He presses down until the rhythm breaks and it's not Bum anymore. Shh. Sanru whispers. Shh. Relax, let me enjoy this, alright? She shakes her head. Wow, this is killing his heart on. So what does it matter now, really? He pulls out of her, and gets into a more comfortable position, straddled over her shoulders. If she was a bit more determined, Sanwu was sure she could hurt him, but she doesn't have an ounce of self-preservation in her. He chokes her until she loses consciousness. He rolls the condom off of himself and throws it away along with every other bit of trash he needs to, before picking up her clothes. Most of it's going to be burnt, but he stops to look at her light pink panties. Bum would wear him if he asked, right? He keeps them in hand while he lifts up the body to lug it downstairs. Bum's flinching again, so as soon as he has it tied in place and gagged with his laundry and the panties in the washer to suppress any other noise, he goes to check on him. He shakes him awake just to be safe. Are you okay? Bum looks terrified again. Good thing he woke him up then, if he was having another nightmare. Yeah, I I couldn't move. I woke you up, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Bum looks down. Uh, are you busy? Ordering the plants, Sanu says doing laundry. I, I, I can... You, Sanwu says after he places his hand on Bum's forehead, are sick. Go to sleep. I'll be back in a little bit, so... Sit with me? Bum asks quickly and Sanwu can't help but smile. Of course. Bum moves up against him, his head in his lap and Sanwu pets his hair softly. When Bum starts snoring lightly, Sanwu's fingers grace Yoon Bum's neck. His hands don't itch as he stands up and whistles a tune under his breath. As he descends into the basement, he's got a lot of work to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs>